Right, taken the uh, parts, the 1S power system for the Cessna, out of the Mini Scout that I put it in and put it back in the Scout, put it back in the Cessna, sorry. Uh, just going to do a quick test flight today. As you can see, wind speeds today are a little bit higher than what this is rated for, but I'm sure I can get a good, a good idea of how it flies and get it all trimmed out to hand, hand over to my dad, as I think this will be a good little learner thing for him to play with not be too worried about crashing and the like. So I think, as with before, a little bit of down trim. trim. It's handling the wind really well though. This is much faster faster than what it's rated for. Really much faster than what it's rated for. Forecast said uh, 30 mile an hour winds for this time today. I think this is a bit more. This feels more like 16 at least. Maybe even 20. Hands off the stick, what does it do? Not bad. Full throttle there to race back after all that distance I lost in the wind. Let's see. I think I keep pushing right on the stick, so let's give it a little bit of right trim. Can we loop in this weather? Ah, not quite. I said loop, didn't I? I meant roll. Yeah, we definitely can't... Well, actually, I'm in, I'm in low rates. Let's go high rates. Nah, that was more like a U-turn. So rolling still really isn't on the cards for this one. But looping... It's an airspeed and... Loop. It loops better in the wind. It gives some sort of uh, some sort of leverage on the um, horizontal stabilizers when it's flat against the wind. There flips over nice and uh, f faster than it goes up. Actually, right. that's looking roughly okay. Let's land. And let's have a go at the helicopter. What I'm having a go with today is, so for helicopters you generally have heading hold mode, which is the mode it's in now, and for that I've got the gyro set to a gain of 68 I believe, any higher than that and there's a lot of hunting on the tail. And my lower rates for that I think was uh, 38, which is rate mode. It's supposed to give you a more scale feel, but I feel that the gyro still had quite a tight grip on it. So I turned the uh, gyro down to 20, and we're going to try disabling that now. Now, one thing to try out in this wind is, yep. So the wind really wants the helicopter to weather vane. If I let go of the tail rotor, I see it naturally spinning in the direction of wind. The wind going from the goalpost on my left towards that goalpost over there on the right. I would point with my head, but I don't want to take my eyes off the helicopter in this wind. So let's practice some hovering in this wind. No stunts today. It's far too windy. Right. Hovering is easy enough facing into the wind. Let's see how well I can hold position facing about 45 degrees off to it. Let's use that tree there as our, as our needle, as our reference point. So I'm going to try and sit just on the top of that tree. Oh, 
hovering feels easy until you try and hold it over a specific point and then you realise just how hard it is. I have to keep uh, burying my collective as well, as the uh, air pressure is constantly changing. I'm slightly weather veining into the wind there, let's point inside on again. the other way around now, facing me. That's enough of that part there. Let's just fly around for a bit. Do some circuits. Flying side onto the wind. Oh, whoa, people and dogs. Snuck up behind me there. Alright, let's not fly over that way. <laughs> let's get this helicopter just a bit in front of me so I can actually see what's going on behind me. See that there aren't any more dogs. Another person over there. Right. If we stay in the uh, confines of the football field, we should be okay. See, is it me? Does that look like it's hunting on the back there? I know the gyro gain is definitely down because if I put it into heading hold mode and put it side onto the wind, look, it holds its position. It doesn't weather vane at all. Gyro down and it starts to weather vane. But it still looks like it's hunting. Maybe the gyro has to go on to zero, maybe? Like maybe even if I turn it down to zero, there's always going to be some work from the gyro going on there. I will try that on a day where there's a lot less work. Whoa, oh, really? Right, you're going to chuck the ball right under? Yeah, that's... Because that's not dangerous in the slightest. You know what? I think that's a good call to... Uh, good call to... Uh, let's, uh, let's call it a, call it a flight. Ooh. Air pressure gave out just at the last second there. We slammed the grass a little bit hard. I heard the tail rotor cut the grass for a second there. Let's see. Any mud on the lens? Ah, ah, not bad. 